But there. Wait, wait, what? Chapter 4. <laughs> Oh, seriously, I haven't heard that. There we go. Um, uh, welcome, folks, to Less Than a Life, Hi. live on uh, Ustream. Story by Shingo Yibuki, as read by the Walfus uh, community. And hosted by the Walfus Station Wagon. So we're at Chapter 4. Yay. And me. And me. Also, welcome to <laughs> Bandy of Walfus Club 1. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I will be narrating Giddy Diz. I will be narrating this because EX Porygon and Roy aren't currently available at this time, so I'm going to try to read for the Shingo this time, alright? Yes. Here we go. Lessons of Life, Chapter 4. Adventure start? Well, that's the end of that. I can't say I'm not really surprised with all of these creatures or whatever in this world. There are some mysteries yet to be solved. Lloyd spoke to himself aloud as he closed the book after finishing it. He decided to lie on the floor for a little crash cat for a little catch small He decided to lie on the floor for a little to catch a small rest while Yeah, sorry. Trying to wrap his head around all of the contents of the book as well as all of the recent events. The thoughts surfaced inside his mind, his mind saying, Yokai, Tengus, Kappas, even gods are walking among everyone in this world. It's just crazy. Spoke the boy to himself. Nervously in a low tone, he let out a sigh. Um, Yukari, are you there? I'm done here. Yelled the boy lightly. A gap in front of, of him with the yokai in it appeared in front of him. Oh, the second one get the gap prop. Why did I put the gap? There it is. Can I be See? Yukari? Sure. Okay. Wait, is that Yukari? All right. <laughs> you called? I assume you're done with that book. Asked ask the yokai. Uh, yes, I am. I can't wrap my head around all that is this world, even more after reading that book you gave me. This is all incredible. Stated the boy, not being able to hide his amusement over what he saw in the book. Dang it, Mickey AFK. I can get back to voice singer. Let's see. Oh, really now? Well, how about we get going then? I think it's high time we get get on to talk uh talk about meeting Reimu, the shrine maiden I told you about. Replied Yukari. Yes, and I'm staying around in this room. I'm ready for anything. Responded the boy in a clear positiveness. Lloyd was bluffing to a degree. He didn't really memorize every single thing, but he was trying to be confident enough about all he had read. Well, step through. Yukari stepped back into her gap, with Lloyd following suit. He didn't hesitate to step through the portal. The boy appeared in front of her at the other side of the gap to what appeared to be the front gate of somewhere. She was standing by, standing beside the fox with numerous tails. Oh, um, sorry, who's being Ron? Uh, still they haven't gotten there. Any volunteers? Mm, yeah, we're I can. Right. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. Mm, so, where is this? And whoa, who is this? Asked the boy, still even more amazed at the sight. This, Lloyd Town Shen, is my Shikigami Ron Yakumo, a, kits, uh, a kitsune, one fine familiar indeed. Stated Yukari in a proud tone as she introduced her. Good day, human. So you're the one that Lady Yukari brought here. Did the kitsune in a serious tone? Yes, it's my pleasure or maybe an honor to be in the presence of such an incredible uh, creature. I hope that was not too insulting. Boy ended his sentence 
in a formal tone as he bowed towards Ran. Well, thanks. So I take the humans leaving not to see the Hakari Shrine Maiden who said, Lady Yukari? Ask the Kitsune to reassure. Yes, Ran. Replied the Yokai, plainly. Also, Lloyd, uh, shouldn't you already know about Ron? Didn't you read the book I gave you? She has a, uh, let's see, she has a section for herself right there. Asked Yukari in a sort of mocking tone. Lloyd hesitated for a few seconds at the realization. He didn't remember much from that book at all. Lloyd gulped nervously and spoke up. Um... Yeah, I just forgot for a second, that's all. Answered Lloyd, as calmly as he possibly could sound. Oh me, oh my. Yukari let out a sigh. Well, anyway... Both Yukari and Ran turned around to have a small talk about what was going to be done about yeah. Lloyd meeting Remu. He could still hear what they were talking about, it was nothing too important from his opinion f for them to lower their voices like that. Well, it would be best if you would let him in precisely at the northwest quadrant nearby this certain location. This way he should reach the shrine in no more than 30 minutes top. He walks non-stop, or he doesn't run in any danger, which the chances of at this time of the day are no more than 30%. With a small glimmer of luck, he should arrive safely. Whoa. Amazing, Miss Ryan. How could you get all those spe speculations and calculations done in no more than seconds? That was incredibly smart. I I'm in shock. I have never seen that possibly made so fast in my life by anyone else. You didn't need a calculator. Heck, I didn't even see you stop to think about it. The boy was completely taken aback. Mm-hmm, well, uh... Ron is really smart and really strong, and that's why she has the privilege doing my shikigami. Yukari smirked. This was also mentioned in the book I gave you. The boy opened his eyes wide at the statement, again hit by the embarrassment that he had not paid enough attention to the book. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I just completely amused. I, I can't believe it. His word just shocks me with every new thing that shows up in front of me every second. Added Lloyd, trying to switch the topic. The boy calmed himself down, took a deep breath, regained his composure, and continued after the small pause. So what is this about meeting the Shrine Maiden now? I heard you two planning to drop me off there or something? Asked the boy, reaffirming what he could overhear. Uh, it's Mickey reading now. Oh, not really. I'll drop you off the nearby the Hakure Shrine. You have to walk the rest of the way on your own. You said you were done with the book, right? Now prove it. If you study hard enough, you should be able to make short work of this small walk. Applied Yukari. Wait, is it dangerous either way until I get to the shrine? I could get attacked! Exclaimed. Exclaimed the boy, getting some second thoughts all of a sudden. I ask again. You read enough, didn't you? You should be aware of what dangers await you in the forest nearby. The Hakure Shrine, by now. Also, you just have to walk in the straight line, as Red said. And you'll get there. Added Yukari. The boy stood in silence for a few minutes, lost in his thoughts. Fine, I'll do it. Spoke Lloyd as he looked back up, trying to hide his nervousness as much as he could. Jolly good. Steps are here. The yokai opened a gap. Be aware of the dangers. You should know by now. Have a nice trip. Concluded Yukari in a playful tone. Lloyd gulped and stepped through the gap as fast as he could. When he stepped through the gap, Ram Ren decided to sneak up. Pardon me, Lady Yukari. Do you think he'll make it? Asked the Kitsune out of blue out of the blue, curious. 
was enough luck, I suppose. It should be interesting to find out if he can even make it further than I expect him to. Even more after reading that book. Replied Yukari in a serious tone. At the other side of the gap, Lloyd found himself in a forest-like area. He took a deep breath before he started to talk to himself. Well, no chickening out now. I already opened my big mouth ever since I decided to come to this world. Everything's gonna be just fine. Just gonna go in a straight line as I was told, and I'll be there in no time. Better get going. Get moving, Lloyd. Boy stopped his rambling and started walking forward, nervously. He couldn't hide the fact that he was afraid. We need a Rumia. Oh, oh, that's Rumia's line? Hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> ah, and I'm one of those, maybe? Well, time to go again. A mysterious presence in the distance <laughs> spotted his arrival. Now, dun, of course, dun, dun. Lloyd didn't notice. He was in danger. What? And and that was Lesson of Life, Chapter 4. Hey, Mickey! Oh, Son my of a <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you kept tormenting me with Monokuma. Why can't I do the same? <laughs> Shut up. Come on, I hope this is a scare. I'm oh, glad I could join. Thanks, Diz. I hope... I hope my narration wasn't too bad. I usually do a bit of practice proofreading for this kind Ow. of stuff. This was good. Just uh, other than that one line, solid. you did great. Oh, hi, Tom. Mm -hmm. I thought you did good. Me too. Mm -hmm. As usual. Again, I didn't really have anything to get my voice back. I was kind of losing my voice at the end there. I should have Who talked did? a little bit faster when Ron was making the calculations. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been nice. Numbers. <laughs> Okay, so I'm glad I joined. Curry had a list. I'm glad I joined, so... Thank chapter, you for Yep, chapter 5 next time, I assume? Is yes. that really so? Alrighty, this has been Lesson of Life, uh, with, uh... Yes, Mickey! Mickey! Suffer! Good night, folks. No, I'm already in this See you, folks, later. Until next time. Later,